All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you five free strategies that you can use to get clients right now that me and my students and my clients are still using. And I'm also gonna show you again and remind you our entire sales process because I get this question uh, practically every day on, hey, what's the next step after we reach out and what, what is the next step from there? If they, if they are interested, what do we do? So I'm gonna talk about what to do after outreach uh, we call it the discovery call and what to do after the discovery call, the demo. And if you want more details onto how we run these things and run these steps, I'm gonna show you more about that as well. So let's jump right into the first step. And this is the step, it's, it's the, probably the most important thing because you can't start reaching out to anybody unless you have this dialed in. So before you start doing any kind of outreach, and I have tons of videos on picking vertical industries and niches to reach out to, and ones that are still operating right now, even given the entire world situation, right? Uh, but you need to have some kind of offer, and I call it your enticing offer, right? So you need to know what you are going to offer the people that you're reaching out to. And ideally you want this, I think in my opinion, it should be a service tied to leads, sales, or growth. And the reason being is anything tied to leads, sales, or growth, business owners, they wanna make more money. That's why they're in business. So if you have a service, that can help them generate more leads or make more sales or help them grow their companies, that's always gonna be easier to sell than something that's not tied to that, right? So uh, have a service that's tied to leads, sales, or growth. And if you guys want ideas, I have made a ton of previous videos on services that I think are solid to start with. Just go with those, right? The proven services to offer. Now, what you need from there is you also must have a clear outcome that you can speak to. And you need to know what your service or your solution, whatever it is that you picked your service, what outcome is it gonna help your prospects or your market to get? And you need to be able to speak very clearly to this. So an example is our services, our core service for over two years has been link, done for you LinkedIn lead generation and done for you LinkedIn prospecting, right? So what is the outcome of that? Well. When clients work with us, a lot of the time they're not even using LinkedIn to generate leads. So the outcome is they go from zero leads, zero appointments per month, to generating eight, 12, or more appointments per month on LinkedIn. So that is the outcome. It's a very clear outcome. You go from zero to eight to 12 or more appointments per month. So you wanna make sure you can speak to this. Too many people will speak only about their product or service and not about the outcome that it helps them to get. That's all the people care about is what is it gonna get them? What is the result gonna help them do? So you have to have a service tied to lead sales or growth. You wanna be able to have a clear outcome that you can speak to, and then also have deliverables mapped out that show how you will achieve that outcome. So if our outcome is eight to 12 appointments on, link on LinkedIn per month, how do we achieve that? What are the steps that we take? Those are the, the deliverables. So step number one is we optimize their profile. And we do this by optimizing their headline and their summary for whatever target market that our client is going after. Number two is we create them a messaging sequence that's designed to generate leads and generate appointments and get people interested in our clients' solutions. Step number three is we build a prospect list of people who fit our client's ideal client profile, right? Whoever they're trying to target, the markets that they're trying to target. We build a list of those prospects in LinkedIn. And step number four is we actually start to launch and manage the campaign. So we launch the messages that we created. We start connecting with people on LinkedIn. We start sending them the messages and we get people who are interested in their service to, to respond back to our client, right? So those are the deliverables that help us to get the outcome of eight to 12 appointments per month. And you need to be able to, to speak to all of this stuff, to the outcome and the actual steps that you take before you start reaching out to your market. Otherwise, you're not gonna really know or you're not gonna know what to say, right? When people ask you questions. So you need to have your offer dialed in. It should be some kind of service tied to lead sales or growth. You need to have a clear outcome that when they use your service, what happens? What is the outcome? And then also have deliverables mapped out on how you're going to achieve that outcome, okay? Now let's talk about the actual ways to get clients. How do you actually start to reach out once you have your offer? How do you start to reach out? So the first place, I wanna zoom in here a little bit, is your warm network, right? I don't know why more people don't start here. Uh, they, they just, they wanna go straight for cold traffic for some reason, but your warm network is the easiest place to get clients, your first few clients, especially if you have no experience yet, okay? So what you can do is just reach out, once you have your offer, reach out to your friends, your family members, uh, colleague, existing clients or previous clients, and ask them if they know anyone else that can benefit from your service or your offering, right? And 
Chances are someone in your network, whether a friend or a family or a friend of a friend or a fam or like a friend of a family member or a friend of a colleague or a connection of a connection, right? A mutual connection. Someone, there's a good chance that someone's gonna know somebody who can benefit from what you have to offer, right? There's gotta be somebody in your network in your expanded network who is a some kind of small business owner or entrepreneur who can benefit from what you've got to offer, right? And all you gotta do is go out and ask. It costs you nothing to do that. You can write up an email, you can send a, a message to your friends on social media, on Facebook. Just say, hey, do you know anyone that can benefit from this kind of service? Do you know anyone that needs more leads or B2B leads, in our case, right, on LinkedIn? So all you gotta do is ask and you can offer some kind of discount or incentive-based pricing in exchange for a case study or testimonial, right? So I get this question all the time as well. What do you do if you don't have social proof? Go out and get it, right? If you, you can leverage the portfolios of your fulfillment provider, that's one way. But the other way is just to go out and get testimonials, right? So offer your service at a discount in exchange for a case study or testimonial. So I don't really recommend doing it for free or offering free trials because you want to have both parties with skin in the game. So you want to at least charge the cost of the service plus a little bit more so that both parties are invested, right? Otherwise you're gonna have one party who's the person that you're helping out. They're not gonna be invested in the service in making it a success, right? So you can go out, reach out to your warm network, offer them a steep discount, uh, incentive-based pricing in exchange for a case study or testimonial to help you build your confidence and your portfolio of results, right? Easy as that. Number two, social media outreach. And this is also free, completely free to do, right? You can go to Facebook, you can go to niche specific groups. So let's say that you are targeting, in our case, SaaS companies. I would target SaaS groups. I would join SaaS related groups. I would start friend requesting people in those groups. And then I would see, engage with them a little bit and see if they'd be interested in having a conversation, this 15 minute discovery call about our service and how it can help them get a certain outcome or result. Right, Instagram, you can search niche specific hashtags. So you just go into the search bar. Let's say you're targeting accountants, right? You can type in accountants or accountants, accounting life. Uh, I don't know what's related to that, but if you type in accountants into Instagram, they're gonna give you dozens of suggestions of accounting related hashtags. And all you gotta do is follow those hashtags, follow people in those hashtags that put those hashtags on their profile. You can engage with their photos and then eventually send them a direct message and see if they'd be interested again in a 15 minute discovery call to learn more about your service and how it can help them, okay? LinkedIn, one of our favorite places. We, we, we built an entire agency around this platform. Uh, all you gotta do is use their, their built-in search filtering, right? Now I recommend if you're gonna do high volume prospecting to upgrade to Sales Navigator, which is a paid platform. I believe it's $70 a month now. But if you are just doing lower level, maybe 10, 10, 15 people a day that you're reaching out to, you can use their built-in search filtering where you just search for people in your niche, decision makers in your niche and connect with them and reach out to them. See if they're engaged with them, see if they're interested in learning more about what you have to offer. Again, I keep saying this and how it can help them get a certain result, All right? So that's social media outreach. There are other platforms, of course, but these are the main ones, the, the main three that we focus on as far as social media goes, okay? Now, the third place is cold email. Now, how do you actually find the emails of people for free? Well, the paid options, of course, are tools like Find That Lead if you're B2B or D7 Lead Finder if you are targeting local or small businesses. These are paid platforms, the tools here. And it's, you basically just tell them what you want and it'll build you a list of prospects that fit your criteria. Now, if you wanna do it for free, there are a couple of places that work very well for that. Number one, actually more than a couple of places, but number one is just using Google, right? So type in Google, let's say you're targeting lawyers. You can type in lawyers in Seattle. I'm in Seattle, I can type in lawyers in Seattle and I can just manu manually go through the search results and pull email addresses from people in the search results. That's one way. Number two is using directories, right? So all you gotta do is, is Google, let's say you're targeting, again, lawyers. You can type in lawyer directories. You're gonna find all these different websites where all these lawyers hang out that you can find their email addresses and send them an email to see if they're interested in learning more about your service and how it can help them, right? Now for us specifically, targeting the SaaS and startup industry, we found a directory called Crunchbase. And this is, it's an awesome platform. There's a free version and a paid version, but it's, it's really only useful for you if you're targeting startups and SaaS companies. But we used Crunchbase to find the email addresses and, find, and filter based on things like annual revenue, on funding amount, on people who are like, have a certain amount of funding from investors, right? Certain industries in the SaaS in the SaaS industry or in the SaaS niche, right? So that's an example of a directory that we use is Crunchbase. 
You can also search up associations. So back to the lawyer example, type in lawyer associations. I don't know what they have. You can type in home remodeling association if you're targeting home remodelers. Any type of big legit industry is gonna have an association built around it. So all you gotta do is type in industry plus the word associations or the word directories. You're gonna find dozens and dozens and hundreds, thousands of search results of people in your niche and you can go and manually scrape their emails, okay? So that's cold email outreach. That's strategy number three that's free to do or there, there is a free option. Number four is inbound. So free ways to do inbound. I, there's of course, you know, paid advertising, right? But inbound, you could post social selling posts. And these are posts on your social media profiles, your Facebook, your Instagram, your LinkedIn, that are designed to share some kind of insights or you know, client or customer testimonials or results or strategies or tactics, something that's value for your market, for your connections, and is designed to get them to come to you, right? So eventually you want people to reach out to you. They say, I, they'll say, I, I've seen your posts on LinkedIn or Facebook or wherever it is, and I'd like to learn more about your service, right? So that's what we mean by inbound. People are coming to us. And if you're consistent with this on posting on your social media platforms, once or twice a week or so, over time, that's gonna compound. You're gonna have people reaching out to you wanting to learn more about how you can help them without you having to do any kind of outreach. There's also Facebook groups, right? If you're in these niche specific Facebook groups, you can make posts that are, again, the, sharing a tip or some insights or some strategies or tactics or something that's going to help your market and get them interested in working with you, right? Now, the trick to this is whatever you share, whatever tip or trick or insider strategy that you share should also tie back uh, also tie back to your solution, whatever your service is, right? So if I'm offering LinkedIn, I don't wanna be posting stuff about Google ads or Facebook ads, right? Or, or content marketing, right? I wanna be posting stuff about LinkedIn and LinkedIn lead generation, right? So that's the, that's the trick is whenever you're making these posts on your social media profiles, and this is great if you layer it on top of these other things, right? Uh, you wanna make sure it ties back to your solution. Otherwise, what's the point, right? The fifth thing that you can do are video or voicemail drops. Now, vo uh, full disclaimer, voicemail drops, we haven't done a ton of this, but uh, we've seen a lot of people who target local and small business industries that see success with voicemail drops. And there's a paid solution called Sly Broadcast that can help you do that, where you record a voicemail and you can call a bunch of numbers in, of people in your niche and it'll send them a, a voicemail, right? Without ringing and, and having them pick up. So it'll go straight to the voicemail, drop them the voicemail, and they can call you back or email you to learn more about your service and jump on this discovery call, okay? Now, what we actually use, what we love using is a video Chrome extension. It's a free Chrome extension called Loom. And what you can do is film these short videos uh, or short, it, it's either like a, we used to do audits and we would also do just straight pitch videos to try and generate this appointment. So, a trick to do this is whenever you're filming some kind of videos, people love to see anything that's related to them, themselves, or their business. So you wanna have um, this, this tool called Loom. It allows you to record your face and your screen. So what you can do is have it on their website or their personal social media profile, and it's way more likely to catch their eye because they can see themselves in the thumbnail of the video. So you wanna make sure when you're filming this Loom video, always have it on something that's related to them. Don't have it on your website or your profile. It needs to be on theirs, their website, their profile, their social media pages, and you're way more likely to get them to open that video, watch it, and respond to it, okay? So video voicemail drops, that's the fifth uh, free strategy that you can use. Sly broadcast is not free, but the video drops on Loom are, okay? So these are the five strategies and they all have, of course, free, free methods and paid methods, but I just shared with you all the free methods that you can do. And they're gonna take you nothing but your time. They don't take you any money to do. They're gonna just take you time out of your day. And if you're consistent with it, you're gonna see results, guaranteed. So number one, again, warm network. Reach out to people that you already know and see if they know anyone or they themselves can benefit and then offer them a discount in exchange for a case study or testimony of working with you. Number two is social media outreach. And we like the big three of Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn for doing outreach. Uh, number three is cold email outreach. And you can use tools, paid options like Find That Lead if you're B2B or D7 Lead Finder if you are targeting local or small businesses. And you can also, for free, go and scrape directories and associations or you know, hire a VA to do that if you don't want to do it yourself. Number four is inbound. So as you're building your network in this social media phase here, you're connecting with people, your friend requesting people on Facebook. Uh, what happens is you're going to continue to build your network. 
Oops. And what you can do is start to make these posts that deliver value to your network and your audience, right? And you can do that through just posting consistently on your Facebook, your Instagram, and your LinkedIn, or you can post in Facebook groups. And the fifth area is video and voicemail drops. So the free option is using Loom. The paid option is if you are targeting local or small businesses using a voicemail software like Sly Broadcast to do ringless voicemails. Now, the goal of all these strategies here, right? All these five strategies is not to get people to press the buy button right away. You're not sending them to a link to buy now. You are sending them to, or you're trying to get them interested in a 15 minute call with you, right? And the goal of this call, this 15 minute to 20 minute discovery call is to qualify them, to figure out if you guys are fit to work together and if you can really help them. There's gonna be a, a lot of people that will respond to this that you can actually help, right? You wanna make sure that you both are a fit to work together, that they're in the right place in their business and that you actually have a service that can help them achieve their goals and their outcomes, their desired outcomes, right? So the goal of all these five strategies, again, is not to get that you should not be sending them any kind of buy button or purchase page. It should be to get them on a phone call with you, okay? Now, from that phone call, let's say that you decide you are a fit. You qualify them, you ask them some questions, and I have a video, an entire video on the discovery call process, so I'm not gonna go into that here. Just go to my YouTube channel and watch that. But let's say that you guys are qualified and you're fit to work together. You're gonna schedule a second call, or you can do it right on that first call if you still have time and they're ready to do that. You can perform a demo, and the demo is to show them how your solution, your service, is going to help them go from a painful situation that they discuss with you on this discovery call that's re related to your service, right? To a pleasurable situation or a pleasurable outcome, right? So for example, we're talking to these SaaS companies, their pain is they don't have enough leads and they don't know what to do about it. They don't know what channels are working. They don't know how to get in touch with more of their target market. That's their painful situation. And because of that, they're missing their sales goals. They're not hitting revenue targets, right? That's, that's pain. The pleasure is they want to be hitting, they want more leads who are interested in their software, who are reaching out to them, and they want more customers on their, their platform, and they want to hit their sales targets and exceed that, right? So we're going to help them get there from that painful situation, no leads or an empty pipeline to a full pipeline of people who are interested in learning more about their solution, right? So show them on this demo, again, focus on the outcome and not the service. You wanna show them how you can help them go from pain to pleasure and show them the outcome of using your service and how it's the vehicle to help them go from pain to pleasure, right? If you want more details on this demo process, I get people asking me all the time to make a video on this. I am not going to make a video on this demo process. That's reserved for students and clients only. If you wanna see a peek though and have more details on how, this act, how we run this, you can pick up my book in the description, Six Figure Drop Servicing. There's a link below. It's $5.60, okay? And you're gonna, see, you're gonna see basically everything here. You're gonna see how to create an offer, how to reach out on these five channels here, how to uh, run a discovery call and what a discovery call is, and then also what our demo is and how we run that. Okay, so if you guys want more details on that, please just go to the link below, $5.60 to buy my book. It's fully guaranteed. I mean, if you're gonna ask for a refund on a $5.60 book, please don't buy it. But everything I've learned in my entire process of what I teach and my methodology is in that book. Okay, so if you guys want more details on this, then make sure you pick that up in the, in the description below. Uh, but that's it for this video. This is our entire sales process. This is, it's not sexy, it's not glamorous, but it works, it's proven. And everyone always wants that sexy, shiny new tactic, but it's really the fundamentals that's gonna get you far in this business and in any business in life, right? Uh, there's a, a documentary right now with Michael Jordan called The Last Dance, and it shocks me how much he focuses just on the fundamentals and everyone always thinks he's this flashy person, but it really is about the fundamentals that's gonna get you to that next level, right? So if you can master things like creating enticing offers, master outreach on these channels and being consistent with it, master discovery calls and learning and qualifying people to see if you're fit to work together and if you can help them solve a certain problem, and then mastering demos and demonstrations and how you can help them go from pain to pleasure and positioning your service and your solution as a vehicle to help them get that, to help them get a desired outcome, right? If you master, these are fundamentals here, right? Creating offers, doing outreach and getting clients and learning more about your, your market and seeing if you can help them, right? These are the fundamentals here. So focus on this, don't focus on some shiny new tactic or Facebook ads or Google ads before you've even validated that your business is gonna work. Focus on the fundamentals here first before you move on to the tricky stuff, right? So that's it for this video. I hope you guys liked this. Give it a like if you did. If you have any questions, comment below in the comment section. 
Uh, but yeah, this is our sales process and these are five ways that you can get clients for free even right now that's still working that myself and my clients are using, my students are using. So I hope you guys got value out of this and I'll see you in the next video.